What's up everyone, it's Victon here with a tips and tricks video for Path of Exile. This time we're going to be going over a few things that can help you finish your atlas as fast as possible for a new league. With this league I was able to get 154 out of 154 done in about 3.5 days since the league launched. I had a few people ask how you can finish the atlas so quick, so I figured I should go ahead and throw in some good tips and tricks to help out those newer people and even some of the experienced players out with some of the things they might not know or might have forgotten in the meantime. If you do end up enjoying this video or any of my other PoE guides, do consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. I plan on releasing a ton of Path of Exile content over this league, so if you're interested, be on the lookout for those in the next days and weeks. Alright, so first, why is it so important to get your full completion out of the way as fast as possible? Well, if you look here on your map, you'll notice you get bonuses for how many maps you have gotten the completion bonus for. The more you get, the higher the chance that you'll have a map to drop one tier higher than they otherwise would have, and then at 100 plus completions, it'll be two tiers higher than it otherwise would have. It's crazy important to do this if you want to be able to sustain your high tier maps. Once you've completed your atlas, you'll be comfortably able to sustain tier 14 all on your own. So that being said, how we're going to do this is we're going to go over my strategy for this league from starting at tier 1 maps and making it to tier 16s and then full completion. So to start, I think it's very important to be using Xana efficiently. Basically, Xana comes online once you've run your first tier 3 map, and at that point you can start buying maps from her and every time you complete one of her missions in a map she'll reset her inventory for you to buy more maps. So every time I got a Xana mission to pop up, whether it be on a white or yellow map, I went ahead and ran it immediately so I could reset her inventory. It also has a nice bonus because you can use these maps she offers during the missions towards your completion. This is the key part of the strategy. You'll want to start buying maps from her that you haven't completed every single time she resets. So don't forget to go back and check the new stock before completing another Xana mission. And quick tip here, you can actually see if you've completed a map by holding down the Alt key while hovering over the map. You'll start by needing a lot of chance orbs to buy the white tier maps and then alks for the yellow tier maps. Now I personally bought all of them, even if I had already had that particular map completed, at least until I had a minimum of one of each map in my map tab. I do this because of the fantastic website called poemap.live. Basically you go to the site and plug in what maps you have on the left side and what maps you want on the right side. For example, let's say I have a beach map and I still need a colonnade map. I'd click on those and then go down and click start. And if you haven't done this yet, it'll ask you to link your PoE account to the site. So it's totally safe to do that. No worries, go ahead and do that. Once you've done that, come back and click start and it'll search others out there that have the opposite combo as you. So they have the colonnade map and want the beach map. And if there's a match, it'll show them at the bottom and all you gotta do is click the message icon and it'll copy a text that you can go into PoE and paste and then send the message and trade that map with that person. The site was incredibly helpful completing all of my white and yellow maps. Once you get into red maps and even a few select yellow maps, it's not that great because some of the maps are worth far more than others. And you don't want to trade a Scriptorium map, for example, if it sells for 8 chaos and get an arid lake that only sells for 1 chaos in return. So my tip would be to quickly price check the map before trading it uh, away to make sure that you're getting a fair deal every single time. You can do this with the PoE Overlay app very easily. I'll put a link in the description to download it. If you haven't already downloaded, I would absolutely suggest it. All you gotta do is hover over the map and then hit Alt and D right over the map and it'll tell you how much it's worth. Okay, so buying Xana maps and trading maps on PoEMap.live site got me about 90% of completion of my white and yellow maps, and it did it super quickly. There's a few rare tricky ones like Scriptorium that you won't likely be able to trade for on PoE Map website. So if you haven't found that naturally, you're probably going to need to go ahead and buy it if you're looking to complete your atlas as fast as possible. But don't worry, because once you get Xana to start offering you yellow maps, you'll be able to buy them from her and then sell them for a quick, easy profit. This profit can then fund you purchasing those tricky to get maps. So again, the tip here is to price check the map first and see if you can turn a profit. For example, this Mesa map can be sold for one chaos and only cost you two chance orbs from Xana. So the more you do Xana missions and reset her inventory, the more currency you can actually make doing this, and it becomes even more profitable when she starts selling red maps. For example, my Xana is currently selling a Fungal Hollow for seven chaos, and doing price checks tells me that I can sell it for 15 chaos, so a good profit for literally doing nothing. 
And another example, this Iceberg can be bought for 11 Chaos and then resold for 18 Chaos. And I have two of them in this set. So total profit from this Xana is going to be about 21 Chaos, which if I need it, I can then turn around and buy some of those tricky maps for Atlas completion. So it's a nice cycle that kind of just keeps on giving. Now, quick precaution here, though, is make sure you do that price check on every single one because Xana sells some maps for more than you'd make back and it's not worth buying them. Like this promenade she's selling for 25 chaos, which is really just dumb when you could easily just buy one for 13. And the same thing applies to yellow and white tier maps alike. But yeah, just keep this Xana cycle and PoE map .live strategy going and it'll net you a ton of map completions for very little investment in currency. Now, lastly, I wanted to mention my strategy for completing unique maps, because some of them can get pretty pricey to purchase. Well, what I do is I purchase these maps myself that I still need, and we can use a Parandus Manor for example here, because right now they're 50 chaos, so quite a bit. But what I'll do is I'll buy it myself and then go into global chat and type slash global 820, which gets you into the global chat where a lot of people generally help other people out with various things. One of those things being map atlas completions. Here I'll post something like, 1 of 5 spots taken for Parandus Manor Atlas Completion, 15 chaos per spot. The people will message you back and ask to join so they can get completion too, and it's much cheaper than them buying it themselves. If you do it right, sometimes you can even make a profit doing this method. Yeah, I'll do that for any unique map I haven't found yet, and it's a super cheap way of doing it since you typically get all of your chaos back, so you can actually get these done pretty quickly doing this method. Now, to wrap everything up, I'll give a few quick tips that are more generic for getting Atlas completion. So first off, on a basic level, remember to have your white tier maps be at least magic quality to receive that completion, and your yellow tier maps need to be at least rare quality, and red tier maps need to be at least rare and corrupted. Completing your Conqueror's quest line will eventually net you some Watchstones, which will then need to socket on your Atlas to unlock the ability for higher tier maps to drop. My recommendation would be to socket one watchstone in the area with your highest number of already completed maps. It'll then allow you for your higher tier maps to start dropping that are in that region specifically. For example, here in the Lex Proxima region, you start with tier 1s and it goes up to tier 4s. And when you socket a single watchstone, it unlocks the next set of tiers here and it goes from 4 to 7. So just repeat this process as you progress through the Atlas, socketing in more watchstones as you get the region completed to unlock higher tier maps. And remember that if your watchstones are not socketed in, you won't be able to drop those higher tier maps. For example, I have this fully socketed region here allowing for up to tier 16 maps to drop, but none of my other regions have that. Doing this, I'll be able to target farm the high tier maps in this zone and it'll only drop those maps. And even further, if I select a favorite map in this region, it has up to a quadruple chance to drop that favorited map. You might want to avoid doing any favorite maps though until you complete your atlas so it doesn't affect your chances of finding a map you still need to unlock. All that being said, at the end of the day, a ton of maps will just come naturally while you're playing the game and running maps. But my advice there would be to always run your highest level maps you have first, don't ever save them for later, just run them straight away and get that atlas completion so you can start dropping higher tier maps. Anyways, that's it for this one. I just wanted to throw out some quick tips some people might not be aware of or had forgotten, and I hope some of these do help you guys out and it gets y'all closer to that 154 completion. If you did enjoy this video, do consider subscribing. This is a newer channel and every little bit goes a long way. Thanks everyone, and I will see y'all in the next one.